Welcome to MCCT, Microcrawler Capability Test. That's where we test and compare the driving performance and capability of micro trucks and micro crawlers from 1 to 18th to 1 to 24th scale trucks in stock condition as well as highly modified and upgraded ones. The trucks have to pass through 10 different tests. We'll get either points for their results or their performance will be graded. And the final scores will reveal the most capable micro crawlers. We check their climbing ability, descent performance, their tilt angle, their performance in overcoming easy and difficult obstacles, and their low speed modulation and low speed driving performance. Check the description for details of tests, scores, and mode of grading. Now let's start and present this episode's test trucks. In MCCT episode 12, we will test an SCX24 with full metal aftermarket chassis. The SCX24 with full metal chassis has a wheelbase of 135 millimeters, a weight of 466 grams, and runs on Injora or Allstar Super Swamper mud tires with 60 by 20 millimeters. It runs on a 3S LiPo with 180 milliamp hours and with a Mofo RC torque beast 2050 motor it has an as 1215rw esc by model borelia de and a emax as 08 md2 servo it runs on a flysky gmr af hds3 micro receiver and has a driver figure interior lights and an rc light switch and now let's check how this full metal scx24 can climb test one climb on a rough surface 45 degrees, 50 degree, no problem, 52 degrees, seems easy, 53 degrees, still easy, but 54 degrees, it's struggling. 54 degrees is already too much for the full metal SCX24. So 53 degrees and 8 points in test 1 climb on a rough surface. Out of 25 trucks tested so far, that's place 7 for the SCX24 full metal. Test 2 climb on a smooth surface. Tires are already slipping on 45 degrees. Can still do 50 degrees, but struggling. 51 degrees. Still struggling and even can do 52 degrees. And 53 degrees. Those tires, those Injora Oster mud tires, do simply have not a lot of grip. Not sticky at all. So test 2 climb on a smooth surface, 52 degrees and 7 points for the SCX24 full metal. It's one of the few trucks that did not have the same result on the grippy as in the smooth surface. It was better on the grippy surface. Here all 25 trucks tested so far, test 2 climb on a smooth surface, the SCX24 full metal with 52 degrees on 6th place. And now let's check how this truck can go down, stop and go up in reverse again. Test 3, going down, stop and up in reverse again. 45 degrees, no problem. 49 degrees, that's already steep. But still manages to do 49 degrees, 51 degrees. It's struggling. Lifts its tires but manages to do 51 degrees. Finally. And 52 degrees. It falls. 
52 degrees that's too steep so test number three descent 51 degrees and three points here for the SCX24 full metal that's place eight out of 25 trucks tested so far and now let's check the tilt angle of the metal SCX24 test number four tilt angle to the left what a result wow 48.3 degrees to the left and to the right side 48.4 degrees what a result so tests four and five tilt angle to the left and to the right scx24 full metal to the left side 48.3 degrees and 8.15 points for this and to the right side 48.4 degrees and 8.2 points what a result but the full metal scx24 was the first out of 25 trucks tested so far which needed grip tape on this test so not to slip down again it's sign for really bad tires and here all 25 trucks tested so far and we see the SCX24 full metal is in lead best result so far really top and now let's check how this truck can climb test number six kill of branches flat side no problem at all for the full metal SCX24 and two out of two points in test number six test number seven the steep side of the hill of branches, the most difficult obstacle of MCCT. The Metal SCX24 can do it, but not always. And again, lacking grip, tires are bad. So 5 out of 10 points for the SCX24 full metal in test number 7. Test number 8, the flat side of the hill of pebble stones. No problem for the full metal SCX24 and two out of two points in test number eight and test number nine the steep side of the hill of pebble stones river stones super difficult obstacle and the full metal scx24 is really struggling again a problem mainly because of the not grippy tires the result performance would probably be much better with different and better tires however it's able to do it and it gets three out of ten points in test number nine the steep side of the hill of pebble stones and now to the last test test number 10 low speed performance modulation the full metal stx24 has also a full metal gearbox that does not run that silent or as silent as the plastic gears in the stock stx24s but it has an AS1215RW ESC by Modelbo Regia DE. So really awesome low speed performance modulation. The best you can get for a brushed micro crawler. If you'd like slower and even more modulation at the lowest end you have to go brushless with an outrunner and a Furitech ESC but 4 out of 5 points here for the Metal SCX24 in test number 10 and here's now the final score of MCC T12 SCX24 full metal chassis all 10 tests and all points gained and the SCX24 full metal does have really really good results 50.35 points all in all however better and stickier tires would probably highly improve its results and its points count here all 25 trucks tested so far the scx24 full metal on place three even less points than the stock scx24 petty different and better tires would probably highly improve its count but probably not as much to take the first place from the scx24 grave digger so that's it for mcct 12 watch out for the next episode of mcct there are Still a lot of trucks to be tested. MCCT will be back.